In Informatica Developer, create a data processor transformation with a parser to transform a flat file source in PDF or text format to a flat file target in XML format. We will add the data processor transformation to the billing project in the Object Explorer view. Right-click the project to create a data processor transformation with the new transformation wizard. A data processor transformation uses a script to transform documents in any type of format to documents in another format. A parser is a type of script that transforms unstructured or semi-structured data into XML. Create a script in the data processor transformation. In the Objects view, click New. Select Script and click Next. Enter a name for the script and click Next. A data processor transformation can work with many file types. Let's create a parser and configure it to transform an invoice in PDF format. Name the parser and select it as a startup component. When the parser is a startup component, the data processor transformation runs the parser first during the transformation. If the data processor transformation does not have any component selected as a startup component, it will not run correctly. To define the output structure, we need to select the output schema to use. The output schema defines the XML output hierarchy. Select Add Reference to a Schema Object and Browse to a Schema. Select a schema, then click OK. Click Next. To use an example to define the expected input, select File and Browse to an example file. The example file is a PDF file that contains invoice data we want to transform to XML output. Click Finish. Since we configure the parser with an example source, we can use the Data Viewer view to preview the PDF document. By default, the PDF file is displayed in binary format that is hard to understand. We need to find the data fields that we want to transform. To do this, we want to view the PDF data in a text format that is easier to read. Expand the parser, expand the example source local file property with the double right arrows. Next to the preprocessor property, double click and select PDF to text underscore 4. In the data viewer view below, now the fields are much easier to find. The parser uses a marker to find the start of a data field in the input file. We want to define a marker that indicates the start of a data field. Since we want to transform many invoices with the same layout, select a marker that is the same in all the documents that we want to transform. In the Data Viewer view, near the top of the example source, find and select the text account number that marks the start of the text to parse. Right-click and select Insert Marker. The parser uses a content indicator to read data in the input file. We want to define a content anchor that shows where the parser reads the data. Unlike the marker, the content data is not the same in different input documents. In the Data Viewer view, near the top of the example source, on the same line of the source document, highlight 12345. Right-click and select Insert Content. We need to define the way the parser transforms data into output XML data. The parser uses data holders to define output elements. In the editor view, find the content anchor and the data holder property that it contains. Double click the data holder property to display the choose node picker. Expand the node target namespace and select the invoice at account output node. Then click OK. On the next line of the example source, find and select the text period ending. Right click and select insert marker. Highlight April 30th, 2003. Right click and select insert offset content. Now change the value of the closing marker from offset search to new line search. This action allows the parser to retrieve characters until the end of the text line.
the parser can read dates when the date text is longer in the example source. Now define the data holder as invoice period ending output element. Scroll a few lines down. Highlight current invoice. Right click and select insert marker. Highlight 351.01. Include three space characters to the left of the string 351.01. In positional parsing, this step is important when you know that the area to the left might contain additional characters. For example, the content might be 1,351.01. Right-click and select Insert Offset Content. Change the value of closing marker from Offset Search to New Line Search. This action allows the parser to read the number correctly if the number is located to the right of its position in the example source. Now define the data holder as the invoice current total element. We can validate and run the data processor transformation, then check the output to ensure that the data is processed as expected. Click Run to check the output data. The data processor transformation reads the example source file, transforms the data, and it displays the output in the data viewer. The data looks correct. Now let's add the data processor transformation to a mapping. First we will open the mapping. Then click on the data processor transformation and drag it to the editor. We now need to link the source rows to the data processor transformation inputs and the data processor outputs to the target rows. This enables data to pass from the source file to the transformation and the transformation output to pass to the target file. Select a port in the source, then drag the port to the data processor transformation input port. Notice how the source port is linked to the transformation input port. We must select a port in the transformation, then drag the port to the target. Notice how the transformation port is linked to the target port. We need to verify that our mapping is valid. Right-click the editor and select Validate. Our mapping is valid, so we'll save the mapping. Informatica Developer includes a cheat sheet that explains how to transform unstructured data. Click Help Cheat Sheets and select the cheat sheet called Mapping Unstructured Data. That completes this demo. To summarize, we created a data processor transformation, created and configured a script with a parser, previewed the example source, defined the parser, previewed the data processor transformation, and then added the data processor transformation to a mapping. We also took a look at the cheat sheet that guides us through the steps to create a data processor transformation that transforms unstructured data. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.